The Grand Prix is a big deal around here, but what's the backstory? Brightside anchor Rob Finnerty has the history of the Firestone Grand Prix. Grand Prix first got its jump start in France in 1894. Since then, it's left its tracks all over the world. One of those places being right here in the Bay Area. So start your engines and put it in reverse because we're going back to 1985 to the first race that paved the way for the St. Pete Grand Prix. If you've ever taken a stroll down to the waterfront in downtown St. Pete, you're actually walking on the racetrack that had the city's first motor racing event. It was held by the Sports Car Club of America's Trans Am Series and quickly became a big thing, at least for the next five years. You see, local residents and businesses weren't exactly thrilled about all the noise. And after five years of complaints, sponsors decided to hit the brakes and move racing across town. So let's hit the gas and speed up to 1996. The St. Pete race made a comeback on a course around Tropicana Field. The victory lap was short-lived though, and it stalled again a year later. Then came the Champ Car World Series in 2003, and with it, a racing revival. The old waterfront circuit was dusted off and the race got the green light. Now there's been some speed bumps along the way, the 2004 race got canceled over disputes between promoters. But once the next year rolled around, the race was switched to the IndyCar series. The Grand Prix was put in park and was here to stay. Got all that? Yes. If, <laughs> if you're wondering when Firestone came into play, they took over as a sponsor in 2014. And this year's Grand Prix, it does start tomorrow. As we said, it goes through Sunday.